Mario Kart Wii. If you ever heard of Mario Kart Wii, then you probably know about some of the crazy shenanigans that go down in the games, whether it's getting hit with five blue shells in a row, rubber banding CPUs, full Funky Kong online rooms, hackers. I mean, what else you could go on? But one thing I think about a lot is the surprisingly dedicated Time Chomp community. And I've also noticed how that Time Chomp community has made certain tracks world record times, such as Mushroom Gorge and Grumble Volcano, go down to around 20 seconds or even below that. Well, you go to the world record website, you watch the ghost replay of the record, and... Uh, what? What did I just watch? I mean, what was that? That guy just slid around a mountainside for a bit and bounced around it. The other dude went around a rock a few times. And this guy here bounced off a pipe through the floor. Well, okay. What, e what even is this? Well, these are called ultra shortcuts. And even though Mario Kart 64 technically has some, we is the most well known for it and has the largest time trial scene for it, which is still going strong to this very day. Also, we's the focus of this video. Now, with that out of the way, let's actually get into this. Okay, so these ultra shortcuts bring up a few questions, right? One, how could I do that? And two, how does it work? Luckily for you, I have answers. Now, first question, how could I do that? Easy, skill and dedication, lots of it. Possibly if you screws loose, but uh, let's just push that off to the side real quick, all right? Now, the more difficult second question, how does it work? Well, to put it simply, Mario Kart Wii has a very flawed checkpoint system featuring regular and more importantly key checkpoints that if exploited can cause some game-breaking strategies like what we just saw. Now, I'm going to try my best to explain how it works. Let's take Wario's Gold Mine for example. Now, here is the checkpoint map for Wario's Gold Mine. Now, those blue lines there are our regular checkpoints, which are just used to make sure Lakitu picks you up and drops you in the right spot. You can really just brush over those. What we want to see here are these red lines. Those are our key checkpoints, including the finish line, which is usually recognized as key checkpoint zero. Now, key checkpoints aren't exactly lines, they actually stretch to the next key checkpoint, making them more like a box. Mario Kart Wii uses these key checkpoints to determine if you raced a full lap or not. Now, there's also the 96% rule, but I think that explains itself. But players quickly found out how to exploit that when they realized that the key in front and behind them are loaded in. So, you can't cut from key checkpoint 1 to key checkpoint 3, but you are able to cut from key checkpoint 0 to key 4 or key 1. And as you can guess, those key 0 to key 4 shortcuts is how people get those 20 second world records. Now, people figured this out pretty quickly. And I mean still in 2008 quickly with Grumble Volcano, which as you can see, is by far the easiest shortcut to do out of all these. As all it is, is driving around this rock until you hit the key checkpoint on the corner a few times. And all of a sudden, time trials went under one minute, then 45 seconds, then 30 seconds. Until so today, where well, the record has been taken to about 15 seconds. Warriors Gold Mine and other courses that have had long discovered ultra shortcuts have essentially the same story. Now, of course, this doesn't only have to apply to the base game, as there have also been countless custom tracks that have had their own shortcuts and the time trial records, but the fact that there are as many as there are in the base game, keeping the time trial scene relatively fresh in the last few years with the help of tool assist, everyone being stuck inside due to the pandemic, a few summoning salt videos, and a guy named Arthur being the first to pull off an old ultra shortcut once thought to be impossible by humans have led to a new so-called ultra shortcut revolution as many new ultra shortcuts recently have been discovered reigniting the time trial and ultra shortcut community back to almost at the levels that they were between 2008 and 2014 before the Nintendo Wi-Fi servers went down for the Wii 
and with even more game breaking shortcuts for people to test their skills at and hopefully hold a world record for a bit. Well, that wraps up this video. Now, so long everybody. Like and subscribe possibly if you enjoyed this and I will possibly see you again whenever my next upload is.